What up, gang? It's your boy Zai. We back with another banger. And today, we break down the different types of dominance. When it comes to inheritance, there are four major types of dominance complete, incomplete, over dominance, and co dominance. And let's get right into it. Get it! So stuck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Gang, man. I smoke a lot of gas. Drank a lot of surf, did a lot of dirt, flipped a lot of work. Ayy, walk up in the spot, they like ball alert. Jump up out the drop, got residue all on my shirt. Damn, I smoke a lot of gas, drank a lot of surf, did a lot of dirt, flipped a lot of work. Ayy, walk up in the spot, they like ball alert. Jump up out the drop, got residue all on my shirt. Whoa, I heard you beefing, ain't nobody got shot. Yeah. What's that? That's Zaza. It's my life. It's my life. <laughs> That's Zaza. <laughs> complete dominance is when one allele completely masks the expression of the other allele. So in a, in, in a heterozygous situation, though, so we, um, that's kind of the most normal situation we run into. That's that's the that's the most typical situation we run into when we are selecting. So, for example, uh, if we know a plant has a heterozygous uh, set of alleles, one for purple and one for green. In this particular case, the green is going to represent big G. The purple is going to represent little g. In a complete dominance situation, the big G, little g come out heterozygous and the big G masks the little G every time because the little G is recessive. Now in incomplete dominance, neither allele is dominant at all. The heterozygous actually shows a phenotype that's a blend of both alleles. So for example, and this is an example you'll see a lot when you start to do your own research on uh, incomplete dominance uh, but rose a rose petal right rose petal may have big r to represent red and a little r to represent white and for some reason genetically they blend together and create a pink rose that pink rose represents incomplete dominance all right then you have co-dominance and i don't want you to get Co-dominance confused with incomplete dominance because remember incomplete dominance is a blend of the two as to where co-dominance is both alleles and a heteros heterozygous individual fully expressing themselves All right so it's not a blend of the two but each allele is now fully expressing itself uh, let's give you an example humans have blood types. I might be blood type A, you might be blood type O, but someone else may have both A and B or A and O. So now you got somebody who's blood type AB. That is a, uh, a perfect example of co-dominance. And my particular favorite, over-dominance. So, over-dominance can be very, very closely related to hybrid vigor. We spoke about hybrid vigor and we learned about heterosis in the live, the last live that we did, the lecture, um, and we got a little interrupted so we decided to take open questions, but we will be doing the lives every Friday um, and we'll start to do them multiple times a week, but you can definitely catch us every Friday uh, 9 p.m. So when it comes to over dominance, it's very, like I said, it's very closely related to hybrid vigor and heterosis. Um, it is where a heterozygote phenotype has now outproduced even the um, homozygous or, uh, you know, in, 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 it's not the exact same as uh, uh, hybrid vigor. Hybrid vigor is 
speaking specifically about the offspring and the traits of the offspring outperforming both parents, right? In this case, we're focusing particularly on uh, allelic expression. So alleles, um, and, and in this case, the uh, alleles in a heterozygous state um, outperform the alleles even in a homozygous state. So you, you might want to do a little bit more uh, looking into with your own scholarly articles, uh, but that is the best way I could help you to just break it down without making everything too confusing, right? We want to keep it real 101 to give you a strong foundation to go find more in-depth information. Um, and uh, that is it. I mean, we do have also pseudodominance. Now, now pseudodominance is technically not a scientific um, word, with, with, you know, but it does represent in some cases where you may see um, like a false dominance. But just focus on the ones that we went over. Complete, incomplete, co-dominance, and over-dominance. Those are the four that I want you to focus on, man. And um, it's going to help build a strong foundation for the things that are yet to come. Uh, we have a lot planned. We'll start to do more um, visual, uh, whiteboard type of things coming up soon uh, in lectures. So uh, we want to prepare you guys with a strong 101 foundation, though. Big news, man. Team Zaza, they found some sort of breeder battle. Um, I don't know. You got to, I guess you got to sign up through some sort of uh, link that they just been uh, signing me up for. So if you want to see me on a breeder battle, make sure to, uh, I'll, I'll drop the link in the, uh, in the description down there. So make sure you uh, check that link out, man. I, I would I would enjoy being a part of a breeder battle. That would be fun, right? We should all, right? QCE. It's about my community and us bringing quality to this community through education. I appreciate all of y'all. Make sure y'all visit the website. The sale is still going. The After Dark 40% off. So um, I think I, I'm, I'm going to leave it up for a couple more days. Um, I just got some uh, new vials in. That's what we've been waiting for. So I know a lot of giveaway winners been waiting on some things. So I got you. We just got the uh, new vials in today, man. So thank you for your patience, uh, all my giveaway winners. We had an awesome Instagram live, man. We're going to start going on Instagram live every day. So if you need some grow equipment, make sure you stop by acinfinity.com, the best equipment in the land, and use code Team Zaza. Get you a discount at checkout on all your grow equipment and please if you appreciate the videos i put out you know what to do man make sure to comment like subscribe it helps the algorithm push me so that i can reach you man and we got the first team zaza youtube member my brother t money yeah he gonna be a leader in there so y'all make sure if you want to join team zaza youtube you know what to do man either tap in with t money tap in with team zaza or just hit your boy up directly, man. Y'all know y'all can always reach me. Love y'all. Have a wonderful holiday if I don't see you before the holidays, but I'm sure we will. I think I'm going to be doing some vlogs, too, for, for, uh, for, the, for the Christmas uh, uh, weekend. So make sure you tune in, man. Um, and I'll see you guys soon, man. Much love. We out of here. It's about QCE. Quality, community, and education. We bring quality to this community through education. Keep Bow!